Welcome back to the LNX Files. As always, this is a safe space for all things spooky. And today we're going to use these tarot cards to do a wellness check on Ben Affleck, J Lo. Ben Affleck recently did a long ass interview with the Hollywood Reporter. He's promoting something. I can't even pay attention to this guy. I don't know what, but let's see what the what the, right? Last time we did a video on these two crazy kids was after the sad Grammys when Ben Affleck could not, you know, smile politely for the camera. Uh, of course, the two of them tried to do damage control after that. Like, you know, J Lo had that post where she was like, "Always oh, a great time with Ben," and blah blah blah. You know, show like I am mad at him, and even if things are different behind closed doors. I mean, he tried to do some damage control there. He thought. He had that anecdote about Trevor Noah, like, he was like, oh, this is husband and wife stuff, and, like, he didn't really address the fact that, like, he couldn't seem to muster a smile and that he was a grumpy old man, and I, I think that as, you know, he's a Leo, they're both Leos, as big-hearted as he is, as much as he can turn on uh, the charismatic personality, like, when... He just strikes me as like that type of like emotionally immature person that when they don't feel like smiling, they're not going to smile, even if it's my wife's work event, which is essentially what the Grammys are. And it's like, yeah, it's long, it's tedious, it's an award show, but like this is part of their job description. You know, they are famous people. This is what you do. You show up and you say charming, funny things and you smile when you don't feel like smiling. So that is the thing that they do. Via the Hollywood reporter interview like Ben definitely seems to have mad respect for uh his wife uh, how masterful she is at social media you know the advice that she gives him you know before an interview like he definitely has the amount of respect that he should have for someone as talented as J-Lo and she seems like she's pretty patient with him and it almost seems like she's able to directly communicate with him in a way that like Jennifer Garner wasn't which is weird because they're all fire signs you know Jennifer Garner is actually an Aries and so I, I actually have a better understanding of why Aries Leo might not have uh, worked out as well Aries can be combative at times you know in terms of conflict I mean so can Leo's but like Aries particularly so you know it's called Aries the Ram Jennifer Garner also has a, a rising in cancer so that that can, that can sometimes manifest in, in conflict as either trying to control a situation through like machinations and manipulations or just getting weepy and butthurt about things. And I don't think either tactic would be effective with someone like a Ben Affleck because he's a Leo but he's framed by water on either side. What Jennifer Lopez has that would give her an advantage in this situation is that she has that Libra rising. So Libras can sometimes be very just objective and just very neutral about like human interactions and human behavior and human emotions and sometimes they can just sort of like bring things together and bring things into balance and resolve conflict in a way that can be can be very peaceful and harmonious. Now those are the evolved Libras and of course like unevolved Libras you know they're going to hell in a handbasket, but for those, that, that may be Jennifer Lopez's superpower with someone as emotional as Ben Affleck, because let us not forget, Ben is a Leo with a Cancer rising and a Scorpio moon, and so you would have thought that his, the fact that he was marrying another fire sign and that they both had Cancer risings, that that would have led to more emotional compatibility, but it actually seemed to have an opposite effect on them which is that the fire signs went into a power struggle and then the cancer rising signs essentially just, you know, tried to out control each other, you know, I mean, which was essentially pr what he was doing with his drinking. It was almost like, you know, escapist protest behavior. So that is very interesting. Where is Jennifer Garner's moon? Moon in Gemini. Okay, so that's not easy. She's actually got several planets in Gemini. Venus in Gemini, Saturn in Gemini, Mars in Gemini. She's got a stellium in Gemini, folks. Okay, so she's she's no angel either. Let's uh, let's just jump right in and pull some cards on J Lo and Ben. J Lo, Ben, J Lo, Ben, helping or hurting this situation, and where is the energy heading? And guides, why was he so cranky at the Grammys? In one card, tell us. All right, so J Lo's external vibe towards Ben. Hmm. Mm hmm. Okay. Interesting. So we got the moon in reverse. 
So the Moon Upright is a major arcana, so this is a card of extreme caution when dealing with other people. So it's a card of like, go with your gut, you know, trust your intuition. Moonlight can distort things. Moonlight can make things very difficult to see and to know where you're going or if it's the right direction. When this card comes up in reverse, it means that like her, any distorting effect or lack of transparency or any nebulousness that was that was surrounding her feelings or relationship with Ben is now receding. So that's good. So that suggests to me that like the Grammys was like maybe a little bit of a hiccup for them or that period uh, because this isn't like a, a lovey-dovey type of uh, warm connected card. It's a card of like uh, what's going on, you know, type thing. So that's good. All right. Good that that's receding. Let's keep pulling cards. Ben's external vibe towards this is so weird. This is so weird. But again, you know, the cards don't always just mean one thing. So we got the Eight of Cups upright. So the Eight of Cups upright, classic breakup card. You know, it, it shows up all the time with relationships on the fritz. One person wants to get out. But it also just means wanting to leave a situation, you know, in, a, his, in terms of his external vibe. So what situation does he want to leave? Well, he did kind of allude to it in the THR article where he was just like, he set up his own production company so that they could just shoot in LA and he could be a part of his kids' lives 24-7, you know, and see their, you know, jazz performances and soccer games and whatever. So he talked about, like, not wanting to film in Atlanta or, you know, Bulgaria or anywhere else, and that's why they created this production company. So this card could literally be calling back to what was said in the article, or it could just be calling back, like, externally to her, he's, like, trying to leave behind the BS of his former marriage, because he talks about that, about how I didn't mean to imply that I drank because of my ex-wife, Jennifer Garner. Like, it, it could, we could interpret this as, like, he's trying to leave behind like the ghosts of the past and, you know, kind of like the shittiness of his former self because he was no picnic to be with. Let's get real. Okay. J-Lo's internal vibe towards Ben. Hmm. 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 Well, I mean, here's the thing. It's not a lovey-dovey card. So we got the nine of wands in reverse. It's not a lovey-dovey card, but it's not like a card of anyone going anywhere. And like I said with these two, like, like I... Like, Je I really feel like Jennifer wants this to be, like, the end of her story, her love story. Like, this is the guy, and this is how the story ends, and I run off into the sunset with Ben Affleck. Like, I don't, I think that she'll stay in this marriage till the wheels fall off. And this card kind of reflects that, is that uh, nine, of card, nine of Wands Upright is wait and see. Like, you planted your, your wands, you did the work, now you just gotta sit back and see what's gonna happen. Like, where are the cards gonna fall? You know, are the troops gonna come riding in? You know, will the rain come and plant and, you know, water the fields? So in reverse, like, all the energy of waiting and seeing, it's kind of like the decision has been made, and it's kind of like, oh, we don't have to wait and see anymore. Like, it's, things are coming to fruition, is basically how she feels. I feel like she feels, to a certain extent, like, the, the, she's starting to see some return on investment in the work that she's done on this man and how she's helped him because he needs her help more than vice versa. I mean, what does she really need him for? Uh, I don't know. Maybe he makes her laugh. He, he might be a funny guy. Who knows? Okay. Ben's internal vibe towards J-Lo. Hmm. Okay, cool. All right. So we got the death card in reverse. So again, like weird cards, these aren't lovey-dovey cards, but it, it suggests that perhaps behind the scenes, they're doing some like ditch digging. So Death Card Upright is a card of change and transformation, unavoidable change, unavoidable transformation. And the promise of the Death Card is you're gonna be better off on the other side of that threshold than you are today. So when this card comes up in reverse, it's either resistance to change or slow change. The change is still happening. It's just slow. It's going to be a process of, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a process. I feel like for their marriage to work, like, he's got to step up. He's just got to be the better person than he is today. He can't be, like, if you're going to stand next to J-Lo, you can't be the guy that's grumpy at the Grammys and who's just not putting on a happy face like that and your, you know, crankiness is becoming the story. Like, that's just, that's amateur stuff. So... I think that internally he gets the fact that to a certain extent whether or not whether or not they have a happy marriage, you know, that's up to him in some ways as well. Like she's doing her part, right? Okay. What is helping or hurting the situation? Oh, okay. So two of cups in reverse. So things so this is a very romantic card, but it, this one's like a little destabilized or it's happening 
slowly or behind closed doors and to a certain extent is happening behind closed doors but you know given how many other reversals we've seen here so things are a little destabilized between them regardless of like you know the praises they sing about each other you know to the media like it, it just can't be easy being married to these super famous people it just it just can't be you know it's 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 tricky it's trying so hands where is the energy heading okay all right so good this is one of the better readings these two have gotten we got the hanged man in reverse so this is a card of enlightenment yeah so the hangman is the natural reversal when it's upright the character is upside down it's a card of letting go going with the current stop trying to control things in reverse that person has done the work they let go they stop trying to control things and now they get it now they have enlightenment and they, they can now walk off that tree branch if they want to so to me i think that like ben is gonna be a work in progress for a while but that he's doing the work you know and she's patient as heck with him i mean she loves the guy and she's super strong so i i think they're gonna be okay i've always said this, said this about them finally guides in a word why was ben so cranky at the grammys hmm. well it's funny um so this is a really tough card to interpret this is a really tough card to interpret when you're like why was this happening we got the sun so the sun is a very cheerful card and it can mean one of two things like cheerfulness and optimism and or it can mean just simply transparency so we can interpret this one of two ways we can, the first way we can interpret this is he wasn't cranky it was just how he was cut it was just how he was edited they were just using all his cranky uh shots but I don't really believe that. Uh, the second way to interpret this is just the guides are being like, yeah, he was cranky. It was what you saw. He was cranky. Sometimes the guides will be like, yeah, we know he was cranky, but we're not going to tell you why. But something that I see here in the card that kind of gives us a hint is just like, you know, the, the imagery is like of a baby riding a horse and that they may just be suggesting like, look, Ben was, he was grumpy and he's an emotionally immature. So that could be it. All right, guys, that's what I got for you. Comment below. Uh, what sort of energetic read do you get from the two of them when you see them in photos? Do you agree with my assessment? Do you think they'll be together till the wheels fall off? Put it in the comments. Like and subscribe. It helps the channel to grow. As always, we'll do this again.